Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome to Integrated Preparedness. I'm Steve Smith. Just a short one on this one. I'll probably make a longer one later, but I just saw on the news. Maybe you have too. If you haven't yet, there was a mass shooting in a subway station in New York City this morning around 8.30 in the morning their time, I suppose, uh, right in the middle of rush hour. The police are, are calling this, you know, you can imagine what they're calling it. So far, they've put out a description as a black male uh, carrying a book bag. Some say he was wearing a gas mask. Um, <clears throat> you know, we've talked before about uh, how these mass shootings seem to escalate at certain times, don't they? We, we know all that. <clears throat> you know, this, this uh, <clears throat> we saw this coming. I mentioned it, I'm sure others have mentioned it as well, that as we come into this uh, election season, uh, the other side is going to be pushing for new restrictions. Um, matter of fact, I just saw on the news this morning, I'll probably put this later on over at American Reversion, had a person ask me, what's this American Reversion? That's the other channel that I have on which I cover more political uh, things and I'll put the link down there if you'd like to join us for that love to have you more of you ought to be over on American reversion anyway because we that's where we cover the political stuff and I know that you all are interested in that and it's very important very important there are a few who say that politics doesn't matter can't help anything like that okay <clears throat> we'll continue to cover the survival stuff here but uh, but politics in my opinion you know I mean politics is how people get things done and uh, and you ought to be over there on American Reversion because that's where we cover this stuff anyway. Uh, <clears throat> because this has to do with preparedness, that's why I'm, I'm putting it here. But uh, but what I'm going to put over there later is apparently 22 attorneys general have come together and they're suing um, Merrick Garland. They're suing the DOJ over some bump stock stuff. It's just the, it's the latest going back and forth. But the important thing is that they are pushing back and they are fighting for it. And we're getting more of these states lined up and, and fighting against the, the federal overreach on so many things. Anyway, uh, it's my opinion that we're going to see more and more of these attacks uh, as we come into this political season and that as they are pushing for more uh, you know, anti-2A laws. Uh, why would that be? Why would that be? Coincidence, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, be careful. Uh, it's it's going to mainly happen in, in the cities, but not only. You know, my son, my oldest son, may be going up to New York City next year uh, to, believe it or not, sing at Carnegie Hall. I'm very proud of that, but I'm not too thrilled about it. We'll see what happens. Um but these these things will probably m well I, I won't say that I, I'm not sure that they will mainly happen in large cities uh, if if uh, history shows us anything they they can happen anywhere they, they they could I wouldn't be surprised if they happened at colleges and and uh, large companies and even smaller towns if you think about the true motivation behind this. So anyway, be careful, be always ready. Those of you who have bought my books, you know that I always sign off Semper Paratus. That's, no, I wasn't in the Coast Guard. I only found out much later that that's, that's their motto, but it means always ready, always prepared. So, so Semper Paratus, I put that in my books too. Uh, be always prepared, always ready, always watching what's going on around you, and always <clears throat> have the means with which to respond effectively to these situations. Anyway, that's later. Be interesting to what, what comes out of this. They don't have the guy <clears throat> in custody. We'll see what happens down the road. I'll be back later probably with another one. You all have a good day. Remember that we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow, and that means being prepared for anything and everything. See you later. Bye-bye.